Let's take a moment to talk about vectors. They're going to be one of the most important things that we're going to talk about in this course. So if you remember the villain from Despicable Me, his name was Vector. He committed crimes with magnitude and direction. He was also mathematically accurate. So when we're talking about the parts of a vector, we're going to talk about magnitude, which is how big a vector is. And we're also going to talk about direction. So if you wanted to show a vector, and in this class we're going to show them a lot, we're going to be using arrows. So if you have an arrow right here, that's one vector. It points to the right, and its magnitude is how big it is. You want a bigger vector? Make a bigger arrow. So if this was a vector, this would be b vector. And we put this little hat symbol right here over them to show you that it is a vector. So now we're going to talk about vector components. So if you remember this tool, it was an Etch-a-Sketch. Some of you could draw all sorts of fun things. My drawings look like this. Uh, I was never very good, and occasionally I'd get a squiggly line. But the point is that you could draw all of these shapes with one knob that moved left-right and another knob that just moved up and down. So vectors are going to be the exact same way. We're going to describe it as how far left right we go and this is the x component so I'll just put this as x and I'll put this as some vector a and then how far up you go a y so by doing this a x how far in the x direction you go a y how far in the y direction you go you can get to any place on this grid and components are going to be important when we start adding vectors together so let's practice by finding some components real quick if we take this and we know the x component, so the x component is going to be this side. All right. So if we remember trig, which trig function are you going to use? Okay, right here we're interested in this side. So that's going to be sine. So this is going to be 25 sine of 22 degrees. Now notice one thing though, is this pointing in the positive or negative x direction? negative, so we're going to make sure that this is a negative. Now you could also make this angle right here 90 plus 22, and that would take care of the sine, but in this case I just added the sine afterwards. So if we continue with our math, 25 times sine of 22 gives us negative 9.37 meters Per second. The units are going to come with it. And if we look at the y component right over here, we'll see that we'll use this side as adjacent. We'll use the cosine. So let's go with a y equals twenty five meters per second times cosine of twenty two degrees which is going to be equal to 23.2 meters per second. So what this tells us is to get to this point right here, we would need to walk negative 9.3 meters per second. Well, you don't walk in meters per second, but go over to the left, 9.37, and then up, 23.2. So let's do another practical example. And if you want to try this one by yourself real quick, pause the video and try that. And if we look at this, this is the component we're interested. Component of the wind's velocity in the direction of the boat. So what angle is this? This is 40 degrees. It is adjacent. So we're going to use the cosine adjacent. So this would be the component in the wind direction would be velocity of wind times cosine 40 degrees, which equals 15.0 meters per second cosine 40 degrees, which is about 11.5 meters per second. Now we're going to talk about adding vectors. And each vector, when you add it, it's like walking this way and then this way. And you end up right here. 
So what I want you to notice is this is the same thing as if I just went this far in the x direction, then this way, going with the x component of that green arrow, and then down the y component. So when you're adding vectors, you are adding the components. So you add the components. This is very, very important. You are going to be using vector addition over and over again in this class. Let's look at this example. We want to add the components, so we know we want to find the ax, which in this case all of a is pointing in the x direction, so that is, make it a little better, 4.5 meters. ay is equal to 0. And then we'll come down here, we'll say that bx is the x component of that, so that would be 8.0 meters times cosine, because it's the adjacent, 60 degrees, which is going to be equal to 4 meters. Then we're going to say the y component, by, is going to be equal to 8.0 meters sine 60. And again, this is negative, because look, it's pointing down in the negative x direction. So by is going to be equal to negative 6.93 meters. So to find this vector r, which is our resultant, from where we started at the origin to where we end up, we would find that rx equals ax plus bx, which in this case is 4.5. 0.5 plus 4 meters equaling 8.5 meters. Our y equals ay plus by. So this is 0 minus 6.93. 6.93 equals negative 6.93. To find the magnitude of r now, we know that r is going to be equal to square root of rx squared plus ry squared. This is just Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to get square root 8.5 squared plus negative 6.93 squared, which equals about 11.0 meters. And these absolute value signs just mean the magnitude of r. So that's the magnitude. We're still missing one part. What is it? It's the direction. So we need the direction. If I tell you 11 meters, who knows where you're going to end up. So to find this angle theta, what we're going to do is we'll say theta equals inverse tangent ry over rx, which equals inverse tangent of negative 6.93 over 8.5, which is negative 39.2 degrees. So that's theta. So you need both of these parts. Magnitude, about 11 meters, and direction, negative 39.2. For the last example to check your understanding, we're going to hunt for the pirate treasure of Captain Mathbeard. He, or she, buried the pirate treasure 10 kilometers, 30 degrees north of west, and then 4 kilometers, 70 degrees north of east. So what I want you to do is to break these two vectors into components. Pause the video, try it. In a couple seconds, we'll compare answers. So hopefully these are the answers you've got. If not, go back and check your work, or feel free to ask me about these questions. I'm more than happy to help. So now let's calculate the magnitude of the resultant. And again, the resultant's going to be the length from here to here. 
and that'll be your result. So pause the video again, calculate the magnitude and direction. So if you calculate that, you should get r equals 11.4 kilometers, but you calculate theta to be negative 39.8, which means Captain Mathbeard's treasure would be over here, which is exactly the wrong way to go. So Captain Mathbeard was a tricky pirate captain, knowing that when you use tangent and you're trying to find an answer that's in the second or third quadrants, you get a negative. So what you have to do, you have to say that theta equals 180 degrees plus negative 39.8 degrees, which equals 140.2 degrees. So our final direction is going to be 140.2 degrees, and our final magnitude is going to be 11.4 kilometers. So 11.4 kilometers at 140.2 degrees. So I hope that makes sense. Please ask if you have questions, and this concludes our tutorial.